Hello viewers, in my previous video I have explained sums of 2b and today I am going to explain remainder theorem and sums of 2c. Suppose one polynomial is x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 3 and this polynomial we are dividing by x minus 1. So here you write x minus 1. Now when we divide x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 3 by x minus 1, in the first step what we will do? x cube you divide by x now x cube divided by x it will give you x square x cube divided by x is x square so here you write x square now x into x square it will give you x cube 1 into x square so it will be minus x square minus x square clear x into x square it will be x cube now minus 1 into x square it will be minus x square now we have to subtract. For subtraction rule is this sign you change. Since it is plus x cube you write minus x cube and since it is minus you write here plus. This x cube and this x cube will cancel. So we are left with minus 6x square plus x square. Now don't consider this minus. Minus 6x square plus x square it will give minus 5x square plus 9x plus 3. Now here it is minus 5x square, here it is x. Again you divide minus 5x square divided by x. If I divide I am going to get minus 5x. So this minus 5x you write here. So x into minus 5x it will be minus 5x square. Minus 1 into minus 5x minus minus plus it will be 5x. Now change the sign this minus will become plus this plus will become minus. Now cancel these two. Now 9 minus 5, it will be 4x plus 3. Now here it is 4x, here it is x. So 4x divided by x, it will give you 4. So if I multiply by 4, 4 into x, it will give 4x. 4 into minus 1, it will be minus 4. Now change the sign, this plus will become minus, this minus will become plus. Cancel these two plus 3 plus 4 so remainder will be 7 therefore when x to the power 3 minus 6 x square plus 9 x plus 3 is divided by x minus 1 remainder will be 7 so here when we divided x cube minus 6 x square plus 9 x plus 3 by x minus 1 we got remainder 7 so this process is called long division method after long division we got remainder 7 the same remainder can be calculated by using one theorem which is called the remainder theorem. Now according to remainder theorem, suppose Px be a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. Now if this polynomial Px is divided by x minus a, then if we replace this x by a, then we are going to get the remainder. Okay, if Px is divided by x minus a, then remainder will be Pa. Now let me give this previous example, then this theorem will be clear. In the previous example we have taken, polynomial is x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 3 and we have divided by x minus 1. So this is px here and this is x minus a. So if we apply remainder theorem, then we can write, suppose px equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 3 and we are dividing by x minus 1. Since we are dividing by x minus 1, you write x minus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to 1. Now, we will replace 1 instead of x. Then this will be the remainder. So, by using remainder theorem, remainder will be p of 1. p in the bracket, you write 1. Now, p of 1 will be the remainder. So, replace this x by 1. It will be 1 cube minus 6 into 1 square 6 into 1 square plus 9 into 1 plus 3 so 1 minus 6 because 1 square is 1 6 on the 6 plus 9 plus 3 9 10 11 12 13 13 minus 6 and it will be 7 so using this theorem very simply we got remainder is 7 in the previous sum also after long division we got remainder is 7 so, instead of long division method, by using remainder theorem also, remainder can be done very easily. Let me now show sums of 2c. First part of question number 1, already I have explained in this example. So, let me show 
second part of question number one here px is x cube minus a x square plus twice x minus a and we have to find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by x minus a now in this question px is x cube minus a x square plus twice x minus a and we have to divide it by x minus a now x minus a you consider zero then x will be a therefore by remainder theorem remainder equals to remainder will be equals to p of a clear this is the polynomial we are dividing by x minus a that means replace x by a then i am going to get a cube minus a into s square plus twice a minus a so instead of this x i have considered a so it will be a cube minus a into a square because here it is x square so i have written s square plus instead of twice x we have replaced x by a so it will be twice a minus a so it will be a cube minus a into s square is also a cube plus twice a minus a it will be a now this a cube and a cube cancels so it will be a therefore remainder is equals to a that's the answer as this sums are of similar type here also in third part also you have to divide by x minus 1 so let me show first part of question number 2 here polynomial is x cube plus 4 x square minus 3 x plus 10 and we have to divide by x plus 4 as here polynomial is x cube plus 4 x square minus 3 x plus 10 and we are dividing by x plus 4 so we have to make x plus 4 equal to 0 so x will be minus 4 so by remainder theorem we can write remainder equals to p of minus 4 so you write p within bracket minus 4 so in this sum we have to replace this x by minus 4 so if we replace this x by minus 4 it will be minus 4 cube plus 4 into minus 4 square minus 3 into minus 4 plus 10 here power is odd number so it will be minus 4 cube is 64 remember that if this one is even number this minus will become plus and if the power is odd number minus will remain as it is so it will be minus 4 cube is 64 plus 4 since power is even so it will be 16 plus 16 so 4 minus 4 square will be plus 16 minus minus plus 3 4 j 12 plus 10 now minus 64 plus 4 16 just 64 plus 12 plus 10 it will be 22 minus 64 plus 64 cancels so remainder is 22 and that's the required answer i hope this sum is clear and this sum also of the same type let me show second part of question number three here polynomial is 81 x to the power 4 plus 54 x cube minus 9 x square minus 3 x plus 2 and we have to divide this polynomial by 3 x plus 2 here polynomial is 81 x to the power 4 plus 54 x cube minus 9 x square minus 3 x plus 2 and we have to divide it by 3 x plus 2 so since we are using remainder theorem so we have to make 3 x plus 2 equals to 0 so thrice x equals to minus 2 so x will be minus 2 by 3 so by applying remainder theorem we can write by remainder theorem so by remainder theorem remainder will be p of minus 2 by 3 so replace x by minus 2 by 3 so it will be 81 minus 2 by 3 to the power 4 plus 54 54 minus 2 by 3 whole cube minus 9 minus 2 by 3 whole square minus 3 x is minus 2 by 3 plus 2 so it will be 81 2 to the power 4 is 16 and 3 to the power 4 is 81 and since it is even number this minus will become plus plus 54 minus 2 cube 2 cube is 8 it will be minus 8 because power is odd number by 3 cube is 27 minus 9 here 2 2 is 4 3 3 is 9 and this minus will become plus minus minus plus 3 into 2 by 3 plus 2 now this 81 can be cancelled 27 to the 54 
9 and 9 can be cancelled, 3 and 3 can be cancelled. So it will be 16 minus 8 to the 16 minus 4 plus 2 plus 2. Now plus 16 and minus 16 can be cancelled. So we are left with minus 4 plus 2 plus 2, 4. This plus 4 minus 4 again can be cancelled. So answer will be 0. Therefore remainder in this case is 0. I hope this sum is clear and that's the end of 2C because remaining sums of 2C are not the inner syllabus. In the next video I am going to explain factor theorem and sums of 2D. Till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part.